Hello, I'm Bruce Scott of Sunrise Productions. Over the past 25 years, we have produced instructional shotgunning presentations on skeet, trap, sporting clays, and wing shooting. During that time, I had the opportunity to talk shotgunning with some of the best shooters in the world. Some prefer one method of obtaining lead over another. Some like swing through, some constant lead, yet others prefer pull away. While producing Focus, Movement, Faith with Don Curry, I realized, as radical as it may sound, that the Churchill method of instinctive shooting has much in common with the methods employed by these top shooters that I have dealt with over these many years. It doesn't matter how you obtain lead. If you come from the game of skeet, you'll probably insert the gun in front of the target. If you're a trap shooter or wing shooter, you'll probably favor coming from behind. How you get there is not important. If you allow your eyes and subconscious to lead your hands to the target, you will be more consistent. In this DVD, Don Curry takes the mystery out of Robert Churchill's instinctive method of shooting. Don has studied Churchill's book and has broken instinctive shooting into three understandable parts. Focus. Every top shooter I have ever talked to emphasizes focusing on the target. Don gives you insights to help you train yourself to focus. On a target like this, we want to take a look at a good look at the target and get comfortable with where we're going to break it. Where are we most comfortable breaking the target? Normally, that's where you see the target visually slow down. So when you, when you feel you can get a very sharp visual focus on the target, focus on detail on the target, once you see that detail, that's usually where you want to break it. Now we're going to go ahead and break this target. Paul. Again, we're focused exclusively on the target. In this case, it's a left to right crosser. So I'm focusing on the three o'clock on that target. It's a very big target. I'm seeing a lot of belly. So I'm not focusing on the whole target. I'm picking out a piece about the size of a dime at about the three o'clock, applying exclusive visual focus to the target. I have no idea where the barrel is. I have no idea what my barrel target relationship is. Movement is an integral part of all sports activities and Don explains how movement is applied to a moving target. Another way to think about the ready position is it's your starting position. It's where everything starts. If you've got a good solid ready position, your eyes and your barrel and your feet are all in the right place when you start the shot pair. You're a lot more likely to kill the shot pair than if you're not in the right place. Good ready position consists of stance, draw length, and barrel orientation. Draw length is the distance between the comb and the cheek at your ready position. So for a shot like this, uh, this crosser, it is a crossing shot, but it's a fairly short window. So I'm not gonna go all the way down to a standard draw length, which would be this, similar to a FITAS start position. But I'm gonna shorten it up just a bit because it is sort of a short window shot. Normally on a quartering target, like the second target here, I would shorten up my draw length to about a half draw length. So I'd bring it halfway between a standard draw length and a no draw or a pre-mounted position. So draw length is critical because again, it's the starting position of your gun. And where that draw length is, is really gonna depend a lot on the character of the targets. The most important thing about barrel orientation is to make sure that the movement of the barrel along the target line and to the break point is as smooth as possible. You want to try to avoid any erratic movements. You want to try to avoid any misalignment where you're, you're dipping the, the muzzle or raising the muzzle. Um, the movement of the gun needs to be smooth through the target line and the break point. Faith comes once you understand that you have the knowledge, plan, and ability to break any target presentation. Webster defines faith as a firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Whether you're an intermediate shooter or a national champion, most shots are missed in the last two tenths of a second, just prior to pulling the trigger.
Why? When you're more concerned about not missing a target than you are about breaking a target, you fall into a seductive mental trap. At the instant before you pull the trigger, you allow yourself to check the position of the barrel in relationship to the target. At that instant, the relationship between the barrel and the target looks perfect because you consciously checked it. At that instant, you miss. What just happened? I'll tell you. You allowed your conscious mind to take over control of your shot execution. Have you ever had someone throw something at you and you instinctively caught it? Have you ever watched an Olympic ping pong match? Find one on the internet, watch it, and then ask yourself if you think the movements of the, of the players were conscious. In fact, they're completely instinctive. The players rely only on reaction of their subconscious mind to visual stimuli to guide their hands and paddle to the ball. While on the sporting clays course, have you ever seen a flash of a target in the corner of your eye, shot instinctively at the target and broke it? The fact is, the subconscious mind is far superior to the conscious mind in reacting to visual stimuli. The reason that we visually check the position of our barrel in that last two tenths of a second of our shot execution is because we lack faith. If you shoot sporting clays, trap, skeet, or you're mainly a wing shooter, this presentation will help you take advantage of an inner ability you may not know you possess. Six and out. 